hello everybody so today is the 26th of april 2021 and uh, we are here to review my cycle so i got an electric cycle on the 26th of january 2021 so today it is exactly 4 months since i bought this cycle so i thought it was the best time to review after buying this cycle i have traveled approximately 450 km so uh, i am i think i am in the right position now to review this cycle so reviews are an important process before we buy any product because the shopkeeper would always tell you it's the best product go for it but uh, uh, actual owner who has used the product is the best person to tell you what are the real life pros and cons when using a particular product so before buying this cycle i did not have much on youtube so i thought let me give a good and brief outline about some important pros and important cons of this cycle so uh, let us quickly go into the pros and cons Okay coming to the pros first the first pro is an excellent build quality the alloy frame and the the painting the matte finish paint and the stickers are an excellent of an excellent build quality so and uh, i have experienced this uh, during the rides that it it is very sturdy and does not wobble much so along with this there is also dual disc brakes which are uh, which is all a very big added advantage and then the pedal is a metal pedal and this also makes it very sturdy so apart from this the stickers and the graphics are excellent uh, so this cycle is available in two graphic sticker variants one is the red the other is the green uh, other than that the 25.5 uh, inch uh, uh ralson wheels are also of good quality and it is an alloy wheel so all this are the first greatest pro, pro for this cycle the second is the 21 gear shimano uh, shimano gear system an excellent uh, gears to have then the cycle is actually available in two sizes which is a third pro so people of different height can choose uh, according to their height the particular frame and tire size the two frame sizes that are available are 15.5 inches and 17.5 inches whereas tires are available as 26 inches and 27.5 inches other than that the big pro and one of the main reason why i bought this cycle was a big battery so that is a 7.8 ampere hour battery that can give the, uh, a range of of easily 25 to 30 kilometers on throttle mode and about 50 to 60 kilometers on pedal assist so which is a big big uh, advantage the next is the inbuilt light and horn the light and horn button are on the left side and the horn is very loud also there is an inbuilt light that uh, is quite powerful enough uh, apart from that the battery has two indicators so one on the battery itself that will tell you how much is the percentage of battery that is spending so apart from this for easy use it also has one on the handle bar there are three buttons low medium and high and there is one light here that uh, uh, indicates it is near empty so a uh, easy uh, guide for the rider is also available on the handle bar other than that the range now uh, i have taken this cycle farthest was 64 km and even after that on pedal assist there was some battery that was left so if on a ideal terrain there is another video that i will post on the uh, range of the electric cycle so but on a average flat land flat uh, terrain it can easily give a range of 50 to 60 km on pedal assist so all these are the pros now let us go to the cons why what are some things that will uh, you know uh, not make you like this cycle the first thing is its pedal assist the big advantage of the pedal assist was that it gives an instant boost that you have to just uh, put only 20 to 30% of your effort but same thing is a con actually because as the, in the hero electric cycle there are no three modes of pedal assist so all you get is a fixed uh, uh, assist and that assist you might not like it always sometimes whenever you have to go for a leisure ride you want to cycle very slowly you cannot choose it the cycle will always give you that maximum boost and you have to ride at that pace so uh, if there was a like in a hero electric cycle something like low medium and high pedal assist so that would be a huge advantage the other thing like with any other electric cycle the cycle is extremely heavy so around 20 to 22 kg which makes it very heavy so suppose there is a battery finishes and you have to pedal it manually it is a little difficult to pedal it manually because of its weight 
second thing is the seat uh, although seat is very ergonomic but the quality of seat is not that good you can already see there are tears here so and it is a little hard so uh, you always have to probably use a seat uh, 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 bubble on the seat so other than that the horn and light uh, although excellent plus points but has two disadvantages one is that the horn and light will only work when you are uh, even you have switched on the battery suppose it is a uh, down terrain and you have switched the battery off then the horn and light will not work and second thing about the light although the light is an excellent advantage and pre-built but the brightness is not so sharp enough to drive easily on the night road so i have to compensate for this i have bought another additional light uh, uh, you know and i use both of them when i am riding in the night so other than that uh, the ones minor but i probably for me was a major determinant is the uh, the whole theme of the cycle is in red except the eco bike sticker which is in green uh, that feels little out of theme for the cycle but probably it was done purposefully because uh, you know it is a green cycle so probably they wanted to keep it green but uh, a center of green in a theme of uh, red looks very off so that is another minor but this one and the another version of the electric cycle uh, model of the from the same gk company has uh, lockable shock absorbers in the front which was a, a good addition if it was done for this cycle also so these are few uh, cons and pros of the cycle so now coming to the final review some uh, time on why i chose this cycle now the range of electric cycles is very cheapest cycle in the market is the Hero Electro that can start from 25,000 rupees uh, but it is a single gear uh, and uh, the reason why they did not choose it is because I live in a terrain that has a lot of ups and downs so gear was a must for me and the second thing is the battery range so Hero has 5 ampere hour battery so that will the range of it is very limited so that was two main features why I did not choose Electro the reason why I chose this bike, so after the Electro series, there are multiple uh, electric cycles that are available, but the one that uh, is prominent among the list for its cheapest price and the best quality was GK Electro Pro. So this is why I chose this cycle, because of its build quality, an excellent battery and a lot of additional features that is not found in the Hero Electro. Now, uh, so I have already told you what are the pros and cons. So who should buy this cycle? So if you are traveling every day and your terrain is almost flat, all you, are, uh, all you want to buy is a environment friendly and an easy commute, then all you have to choose Hero Electro because for 25,000 rupees it is a good bargain. However, if you are looking for an electric cycle that is not only for a work commute but also you want to cycle on weekends or you would like to go on some adventure trips, choose a cycle that is better than Hero Electro like uh, the GK Electro Pro. Uh, but uh, with minor modifications, this can be an excellent choice. So uh, uh, if, the, if anyone from GK is watching, uh, you have built an excellent cycle, but uh, some minor modifications here and there, like you know, increasing the lumens of the, uh, the uh, headlight, and keeping the light and uh, this function on whenever the uh, battery is off and something uh, like improving the quality of the seat having a lockable shock absorber these are some minor things that can go a far uh, you know take it, take the cycle far ahead so uh, if your budget is around 35000 rupees so gk eco bike pro is the cycle for you so where can you buy this from? So you can buy this from the company website. So that is gk.com. This is a Ljubljana based cycle company. So you have the, uh, although some parts of it are from China, but uh, it, most of it is manufactured in India. So you have a made in India product, firstly. Second, uh, so you can buy it from the GK uh, website. Uh, so they have free delivery. The second place where you can buy it is from Amazon. So Amazon uh, sells it uh, in their site. So if there is some credit card or debit card offer that is happening on Amazon, so you can buy it from Amazon. The third thing where I personally bought this cycle is from a local dealer here. The huge advantage of buying from a local dealer is uh, two things. One, he provided a price that was lower than online price. Secondly, 
uh, is the uh, free service or some minor if there is any technical uh, problem that can arise out of the cycle the local dealer can help you a lot so so check with your local dealer if it is there with the local dealer i would always say go for it but if you are uh, buying online that is also not a, a bad thing because uh, the company uh, has one year warranty on the cycle and six month warranty on the battery or something like that uh, so yes so i hope i have given you the overview of my cycle so in maybe another six months i will post another review so that time it is around nine to ten months since i bought this cycle so till then uh, we will meet very soon so i will in my next video i will tell you some accessories that i have bought which are very essential if you are riding around and uh, some tips and tricks in the next video until then have a good stay safe bye bye